So let's move uh, uh, the last topic in today's agenda, where digital solution can help. So I start off uh, on the uh, source to invoice cycle. Uh, there are totally uh, 16 process here uh, from uh, spending analysis to uh, contract management. Um, there are few area, I believe AI, uh, machine learning, NLP, NLP is a natural language processing, uh, which can help. Uh, so those area are uh, first spending and analysis, second the sourcing insight, uh, the third one will be in, e invoicing, and fourth one will be compound enforcement, and uh, the fifth and sixth one is uh, contract management. We're going to uh, go through them one by one. Um, on the spending classification example, like uh, AI can do it automatically for us to classify the spending items. AI can learn that um, if I would like to purchase a new notebook, if the history record, uh, uh, so that um, uh, the purchase should be within the range of uh, 7,000 to 20,000, if this time the purchase is out of this range, the system will automatically alert you, okay? Or the AI will, will know that um, I got full day meeting in Hong Kong on Friday, on last Friday. But how come I I submit a invoice last Friday uh, on a hotel hotel spending bill in Macau, right? So the system will know will know that and alert to the company. <laughs> I, and I say, you know, I, I violate some policy, right? Okay, so those are the things AI can uh, can can help the company take out those exceptions. And for the uh, sourcing insight, example like uh, commodities uh, such as cotton, uh, paper, metal, oil, their price can be fluctuated from time to time. AI can model you an optimal sourcing strategy. Okay, that's something can be done by AI. And uh, the third one is uh, e in invoicing, right? So uh, when we receive the invoice from your vendor, from your supplier, yeah. O you, you can scan the document by OCR solution or by RPA. I, I go into talk more RPA, right? And uh, those tools can pick, you know, uh, pick up some key element like invoice number, the uh, the supplier name, uh, uh, the invoice detail amount uh, from the paper, convert them to the data can be consumed later, okay? And the fourth one is um, automatic compliance monitoring and uh, supply supply chain platform, um, um, such as Ariba, I just mentioned the one yet, can help enforce compliance uh, from source to pay in soft manual process. Okay. An example already illustrated to you is the bidding process. Um, yeah, let's see the bidding process. Let's see the bidding process. Exactly. Hello. Let me show you one of the most challenging situation every organization faces during their e-procurement process. It's about a uh, a project uh, a, a to buy a thousand pipe and then they invite a different buyer you know, to a tendering process. But one of the staff uh, uh, had a connection with the buyer. Something done on the table. The 
answer is SAPSRM Bid Security Enhancement Solution. You might be thinking how? Integrity, any documents uploaded in the system are digitally signed. Confidentiality, ensured by implementing multi-level data encryption feature. Sensitive price data in the system is encrypted. All technical documents in the system are encrypted. Enables audit trail through the electronic audit log of all role assignments and deletions, and modifications to bid security features. This is how SAP helps run business simpler, better and now, safer. So I try to recap a couple of elements here. Uh, so all the information upload uh, digitally signed, and uh, the tool provide you multi-level data encryption and audit trail. Uh, uh, we check on every modification and deletion. Yeah. So uh, right on the platform, so you will see the compliance is enforced by the system instead of manual process. Okay. So let's look at contract data extraction. Um, uh, contract contents uh, basically today can be uh, scanned and analyzed through NLP, uh, the natural, uh, natural language processing. Okay. Um, and uh, the NLP can extract uh, some important terms, calls, uh, contractual terms, and calls, put it into a database. And for future use, for so uh, you you no need to reinventing the wheel yet. When you uh, create a new contract with uh, similar terms and uh, condition, yeah, so the system will help you a lot. And uh, the last one here, the six the six point here is about a contract life cycle management. Uh, in um, a contract with supplier, usually we will uh, bundle with uh, expiry date, okay, and also the purchase. Volume means uh, when when your order hit certain volume, then the supplier will uh, have a, a certain sales rebate. Okay, so uh, so when a order come in, the system will automatically check from the contract and see if uh, the contract is still valid or already expired or the orders quantity hit certain volume. So uh, will will that trigger uh, certain discount and the sales rebate? That can be done automatically, and uh, instead of currently man manual handling, heavily manual handling in a lot of company. Okay. So uh, let's talk about um, RPA. A <laughs> first question I highlight here is Lala Six. Yeah, all of you heard about Lala Six, right? Do you know what does it mean, Lala 6? It's basically, uh, um, this is something uh, quite, a, a term quite famous in mainland China means uh, uh, most of employees in China currently uh, starting working from uh, 9 o'clock uh, in the morning up to 9 o'clock uh, in the evening times six days a week. Okay, sounds terrible, right? But could you imagine if a if a worker and employee can work even, lo even longer, seven days a week times 24 hours times 52 weeks a year, who can do it with zero defect as a result? That stuff we call it RPA, Robotic Processing Automation. Um, it's actually a software robot who could simulate uh, some repeatable process and action done by human, okay? But the condition is, the keyword is repeatable. Only something can be done with repeatable. Those repeated tasks or process can be replaced by the software robot. Okay, that's the key. So look at uh, some research figure. Gartner, um, the world's biggest research IT firm, PDX, 65% of routine work currently done by manager will be fully automated by RPA by 2024, okay? And Gala also says AI um, augmentation will create 2.9 trillion US dollar business value. Okay, quite huge, create quite huge impact to the world, to different company. And, uh, Look at here, um, 
I, I think I, I do have to uh, minimize. Yeah, it's better, right? It's better. And um, and you will see uh, from the bar chart, um, the adoption of RPA really strong, okay? Uh, at same pace like AI and ML machine learning, yeah, highlight in a green color. This is the bar for R RPA. And this is the bar uh, of the adoption of AI and ML, okay? So, so you must know what is RPA. Okay, quite trendy, quite quite juicy, and um, and here show you where RPA can be applied in the business. Um, there are you know typical uh, a typical use case that RPA can be applied in general, but um, particularly for supply chain area, uh, we can consider using RPA. Say for example, to fill in uh, custom uh, decoration form. Um, Currently, people they they have to uh, pin their shipping detail uh, from their system and then manually insert the data into an external portal for uh, custom decoration. But you can you 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 can set up the RPA to do it. Okay, and you could also uh, integrate chatbot with RPA together. Uh, say for example, um, if for a customer inquiry on an order status chatbot can trigger RPA to check where is my order? Is it still being produced at factory or billing shipped? And uh, when it will be arrived to me, okay? All those can be done by chatbot and RPA today. So let's look at uh, something um, might be a little bit technical to terms uh, optimization and scheduling, okay? I'm going to, um, um, uh, you know, um, talk to you a concept here called TSP. Uh, some of you might heard about this uh, traveling salesman problem. It's about uh, uh, given a list of cities and the distance between each pair of cities, and you have to uh, figure out what's uh, the shortest path that visits each city exactly once and returns to original city. Okay. Without using AI, that's difficult to do it, right? Because AI and optimization engine is the best tool to solve this kind of problem. So we, uh, this is a very typical uh, uh, classic problem. We call it TSP. And uh, in a commercial world, uh, also we could see different schedules and planning activities along the supply chain. Uh, for example, in retail, uh, we have uh, staff rostering, uh, uh, usually uh, based on Excel to do this kind of planning, but we have to consider different constraints like uh, uh, the high and peak season uh, or high and peak hours within the day and uh, the annual leave of individuals and uh, consecutive sections and public holiday as well. And for manufacturing, um, uh, we we had to do a job order and production scheduling constraint to consider like the, um, the production lead time, the job order lead time, uh, the workers skill set we had to consider, machineries requirement, because different product will come with different set of machine, okay? And uh, the personalized capacity, all these constraints need to consider when you do the planning. And for the meal, um, the uh, buying tents, the chemical boiler all come with a schedule and planning and you have to consider the sequence of acidic and alkaline, the sequence of color grading from the pale color to the deep color, etc. So um, not easy, right? But currently a lot of company rely on Excel. Uh, let's look at a video how this can be done by AI. Okay. So it this video will simulate how AI can do a manufacturing schedule. So the uh, the top corner is uh, the employee. You see each employee's name, and the color bar means each bar representing different skill set they own. And when the AI start to uh, allocate the job to individual staff, 
AI will consider the skill set requirement and assign to the right person real time, okay? And uh, so you will see the power of AI. This can be done automatically through AI uh, optimization engine. Uh, usually, if this is done by Excel, you can't do it uh, hourly. Uh, I think the best person to do it could be daily, even you, you just do it uh, once a week, yeah? Because a lot of constraints you have to consider, right? Not something easy. But uh, do this through the AI engine, just, you know, a piece of cake, okay?